3. Basic Algorithms There are several basic numerical algorithms or techniques which everyone should know since they occur in many places in this book. The ones we shall concentrate on here are Euclid's GCD algorithm, GCD would be greatest common divisor, the Chinese remainder theorem, and computing Jacobi and Legendre symbols. These are all big names in subjects in mathematics, by the way. 3.1, greatest common divisors, GCD, right? In the previous sections, we said that when trying to solve a times x equals b mod n in integers, or a alpha equals b mod f for polynomials modulo a prime, we need to compute the greatest common divisor. This was particularly important in determining whether a is an element of z mod n z, or a in f sub p of x mod f. Had a multiplicative inverse or not? i.e. g sub d the greatest common divisor of a and n equals 1. That's in the first one, z mod n z. Or g sub d of a comma f equals 1. In this case, f sub p of x slash f, right? Um, where a is an element of that, and a and f has greatest common divisor 1. And here, little a and capital N has greatest common divisor 1. We did not explain how this greatest common divisor is computed. Neither did we explain how the inverse is to be computed when we know it exists. We shall now address this omission by explaining one of the oldest algorithms known to man, namely the Euclidean algorithm. So if he says it's the old one of the oldest, you know that you can find out plenty of things about the Euclidean algorithm. If we were able to factor a and n into primes, or a and f into irreducible polynomials, then computing the greatest common divisor would be particularly easy. For example, if a equals 2, 3, 230895588646864 equals 2 to the 4th times 157 times 4513 to the 3rd and b equals 33107658350407876 which is 2 to the 2nd 1 times 157 times 2269 to the third, times 4513, then it is easy from the factorization to compute the GCD of A and B, the GCD as the GCD of A and B, 2 squared. Notice this is 2 squared and 2 to the fourth has 2 squared in it. 157, you see 157 in both of these, 4513, See, there's 45, 13, and there's three of them here, right? So one of them is in common. And then they multiplied 2 squared times 157 times 45, 13 to get the greatest common divisor as being 2,834,164. However, factoring is an expensive operation for integers. But computing greatest common divisors is easy, as we shall show. Although factoring for polynomials modulo a prime is very easy, it turns out that almost all algorithms to factor polynomials require access to an algorithm to compute greatest common divisors. Hence, in both situations, we need to be able to compute greatest common divisors without recourse to factoring.
Okay, basic algorithms continued. 3.1.1 Euclidean algorithm. In the following, we will consider the case of integers only. The generalization to polynomials is easy since both integers and polynomials allow Euclidean division. For integers, Euclidean division is the operation of, given a and b, finding q and r with 0 less than or equal to r less than absolute b, such that a equals q times b plus r. For polynomials, Euclidean division is, get, is given polynomials f and g, finding polynomials q and r with 0 less than or equal to the degree of r less than the degree of g, such that f, right, you're given a, a given polynomial, equals qg plus r. So g was given you got to find q to multiply with g and the r to add to it to get f. And the fact is the degree of this r that you're adding to it is going to be less than the degree of g. So essentially this algorithm reduces because the degrees go down. Your, uh, this fact the, that you can do this means your r is essentially decreasing if you can repeat this algorithm. All right, so to compute the GCD of r sub z, uh, that was relevant, um, by the way. You will see that in other math, uh, math places. To compute the GCD of r sub 0 equals a and r sub 1 equals b, we compute r2, r3, r4 as follows r sub 2 is q1 r1 minus r0. Okay, so I kind of, this is what I said, right? Um, r3 equals q2 r2 minus r1. All the way through r sub m equals q sub m minus 1 r sub m minus 1 minus r sub m minus 2. You can see those indices changing in this pattern here. r sub m plus 1 will be q sub m r sub m. If d divides a and b, then d divides r2, r3, r4, and so on. d divides a and b, uh, then d divides r, all three of those. Right, One, if it divides any two, then it divides all three. All right, so the greatest common divisor of a and b is the greatest common divisor of r sub 0, r sub 1, is the greatest common divisor of r sub 1, comma, r sub 2, dot, dot, dot. The greatest common divisor of r sub m minus 1 and r sub m is r sub m. As an example of this algorithm, we want to show, of this algorithm, we want to show that 3 is the greatest common divisor of 21 and 12. So 3 is the GCD of 21 and 12. Um, using the Euclidean algorithm, we compute the GCD of 21 and 12 in the steps. GCD of 21, 12 is G sub D of 21 mod 12, comma 12. Hmm. That's the GCD of 9 and 12. The GCD of 12 mod 9 is 3. Uh, is this clear the way he's doing this? GCD A, B, R, 0, R, 1. I'm not so sure this is so clear. 
Um, I'll look in uh, your book. I have I have a copy, by the way, of uh, his book, and see if he works this out in his um, in his new edition of this. Um, GCD of twenty one twelve. Okay, so nine twelve. He takes mod twelve uh, twelve mod nine to get three. And I'm sure he's going to take right nine mod three. I mean, I can see the pattern he's following here. I, I'm not sure I see the reasoning behind this, though. And um, nine mod three, yeah, that's zero. Okay, so let me GCD twenty one mod twelve and twelve, which is the GCD of nine and twelve which is the GCD of 12 mod 9 and 9, which is the GCD of 3 and 9, which is the GCD of 9 mod 3 and 3, which is the GCD of 0 and 3, which is 3. Or as an example with larger numbers. Ugh. So he writes it out with the GCD of 1426668559730. And eight one zero six five three zero nine four seven five six. Um, observe the difference between these two people, and this is a complaint. He does. He writes that this is equal to the GCD of eight one zero six five three zero nine four seven five six, and six one six zero one five four six four nine seven four. But notice you don't see this mod notation with the larger numbers. So he has used this notation and then abandoned it here, which is an inconsistency. But I'm assuming that um, he used that modular arithmetic. So notice the next one, the 616-015-464974, you're taking the GCD of that with 194, Six three seven six two nine seven eight two. I suspect that. Uh, hold on a second. Yeah. So what he's doing is he's modding out, and so that's but you know six one six zero one five four six four nine seven four, which essentially is you subtract, right? So then subtracting gives you the 1946376297782. So then um again you're going to do the number mod the other number. So you'll get GCD 19463376297782. And thirty two one zero two five seven five six two eight. Hmm. Did he? All right, I'm not going to re uh, read all these numbers. You can s look at that yourself. The Euclidean algorithm essentially works because the map AB to A mod B, B, for A greater than or equal to B, is a GCD preserving map greatest common divisor preserving map. Okay, so that needs to be proven that you can reduce something, mod the other number, and um, it preserves the greatest common divisor. The trouble is that computers find it much easier to add and multiply numbers than to take remainders or quotients. Hence, implementing a GCD algorithm with the above GCD preserving map will usually be very inefficient. Fortunately, there are a number of other GCD preserving maps. For example, AB to A minus B divided by 2 comma B if A and B are odd, A divided by 2 comma B if A is even and B is odd, and a comma b divided by 2 if a is odd and b is even. Okay, so he claims this is a greatest common divisor preserving map. 
uh, yes, I think he's right. Um, recall that computers find it easy to divide by two, since in binary this is accomplished by a cheap bit shift operation. This latter mapping gives rise to the binary Euclidean algorithm, which is the one usually implemented on a computer. Essentially, this algorithm uses the above GCD preserving mapping after first removing any power of 2 in the GCD. Algorithm 1.1 explains how this works on input of two positive integers a and b. Algorithm 1.1 binary Euclidean algorithm g equals 1 forward slash star remove powers of 2 from the GCD star forward slash while a mod 2 equals 0 and b mod 2 equals 0 do. Okay. And now these go together, a equals a over 2, b equals b over 2, g equals 2g, end. Forward slash star, at least one of a and b is now odd, star forward slash. While a is non-zero, do. Okay, now these are together. While a mod 2 equals 0, do a equals a over 2 while b mod 2 equals 0, do b equals b over 2. Forward slash star, now both a and b are odd, star forward slash. If a is greater than or equal to b, then a equals a minus b in parentheses over 2. Else, b equals uh, parentheses b minus a, close parentheses, divided by 2. End of that section and then you write end, and then return g dot b. So, and he calls that the binary Euclidean algorithm. Uh, okay, I will stop there, thank you.